thanks so much for checking out Sortly. In today's video, we're going to talk specifically about how to update your inventory items within the application. This can consist of adding notes, updating your quantity, moving your item, as well as seeing different reporting functions. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and jump into one of the folders that I've pre-built called Asset Tracking. And inside the Asset Tracking folder, I'm going to click into our inventory folder. Now you can see at this level here, we have a couple of different items that can be seen down below, such as a monitor, keyboard, monitor stand, and a mouse. And these are the items that we'll be working with in today's demonstration. So you have a couple different options in terms of updating your inventory. You can of course click into the item and you can make adjustments to it. So this would consist of updating quantity, you could add alerts to it, add a price point, add some tags and notes, as well as any of the custom fields that you've already built out. So in this case, if we put a price point of $300, we'll automatically see the quantity times the price to give us the total value. And when we press save, that's going to automatically update to indicate that there's now a monetary value for that item. Now up at the top here, we can jump back into that in inventory folder, and we'll see that that pricing has been reflected in real time. We can also make adjustments without having to click into the item by simply hovering over the different fields for that item. So the first one here for plus or minus, this is going to allow you to increase or decrease the quantity of that item. Now when we click on this uh, window here, it's going to give us a small pop-up, and from here we can adjust the quantity by either hitting the plus or the minus tools on either side. You can also type in the quantity field, or if we want to put the new quantity, we can just go ahead and type that in, and it will automatically show the quantity is being increased by that number. In this case, it's going to be 20. Now you're also going to have the opportunity here to add a reason as to why you're making this adjustment. So if we click on the drop down here, it's going to provide us a few different options from consumed and damaged to restock returned and sold a stock take or stolen. So you can select any of these options here. Let's assume that they are optional. So you can go in and fill these in if you want. There's also the opportunity here for you to add a transactional note to be able to see this information on your end. So in this case, we can say restock and we can update that quantity. And in real time, we're gonna see that adjustment happen within the application. So we saw the price point uh, jump or the total value jump for that product um, from what it was at previously to now $22,500. Now that note that we just took, you're able to see all of these transactional events through the reporting tab. So if we click on reports here, we're gonna be able to see that there are a couple pre-built reports, but the one I wanna highlight is gonna be the all transactions. Now the transactions is gonna show the most recent events that have occurred to your item. So you can see a lot of these items were just created. Um, in this case, this is the item that we just updated. We'll see that quantity changed here. We saw the quantity updated and the transaction notes indicate that it was restocked. If we slide over to the right a little bit, we're gonna see some additional information on this, such as the folder that that item belongs to, the user who made that change, some pricing information, barcode information, as well as any of the additional custom fields that we built out within the application. So this is really gonna show you how to perform those updates within the software. And again, this is gonna kind of be a way for you to inventory or update your current inventory by adding some of these details and additional notes. So again, as a quick refresher, if you click into the item, you can update some information on the item. You can also hover over the item and use the move to folder or update quantity to make adjustments. And again, all of these changes that reflect in the software are going to be updated in real time and show across not only the reporting tab, but the activity history as well. Thanks so much for watching.